Hi friends, welcome to Vicration Technologies. Today we are going to discuss about a particular error which is nothing but about our string was not recognized as a valid time span in C sharp. So this type of error arises when we try to convert a string to its equivalent time span value. And uh, there we will just use the time span dot parse method. So the time span dot parse method it will take a single parameter and which take only the string value and also in this video i'm just trying to explain like uh, how we can reproduce that error and at the end i will show you how we can avoid such type of errors so let me first create a variable like t so which contains uh, the value as 0 8 0 0 so the variable name can be of anything and you can uh, give any type of very uh, value into it so here I am just going to use the time span uh, time span dot parse method and uh, in that uh, I am going to pass you the, the t variable and also it contains another uh, parameter so which I am not going to use it. So here you can see uh, the time span it belongs to the system uh, system namespace and it contains the parse uh, method. So the parse method is nothing but about convert the string represent, representation of a time interval to its time span equivalent. So which is nothing but about we are converting a string to its time span equivalent all right so here if i run the application you won't get that particular error because here the the, the value of the variable or the string value of the variable is 0, 0, 0 so which is a uh, which is a valid value and due to that reason you will not get that particular error right. if if i press f10 and move to the next line then you won't get that error but in place of that you will you will see in the result like what is the what is the total hours what is the total minutes what is the total seconds and there are like a lot more things as well so let me let me stop the application and in place of uh, uh, 0 8 uh, colon 0 0 i'll pass a empty string and if i run the application then i will get that error and i'm going to explain you like why we got that error so if i press f10 then here you can see uh, we got that error in the uh, screen like that string was not recognized as a valid time span let me let me stop the application now uh, now we got that error because here we passed that empty string okay so in the, in the last value i passed 0 8 colon 0 0 so which is a valid time span value even if we can pass some other type of value like 0 9 0 uh, like 0 7 or 10 12 13 14 anything okay because those are the valid values okay now here you can see as we are passing the empty string so uh, so the empty string it it can't convert that into a uh, time span value and due to that reason we got that error as string was not recognized as a valid time span value now uh, let me pass a, a different type of string okay so here i am just passing you the the string as a test okay now if i run the application again also here also we will get the same error the reason because test is not as a valid valid uh, time span value and due to that reason we got that error so so this is how we can uh, reproduce uh, our uh, error that is string was not recognized as a valid time span in our c -sharp. Now, how we can avoid such type of errors? Now, to avoid such type of errors, so what we can do, like if not string dot is null or empty, and here I am just going to pass you the t value. Here, this time span dot parse line will execute only when the the t t variable value is uh, is not null or empty. All right. So, so whenever it contains a contains a value in in that variable, then at that time only it will it will parse that particular string into the valid time span value. Now, if I run uh, run it, and you can see it it, it didn't uh, got hit to that particular particular if block and it didn't go inside that time span dot parse because the t t variable contains the empty string. But also, as I explained earlier, like uh, I passed the test, okay, but still it got showed that same error, like string was not recognized as a valid time span. 
the reason why because test is not a valid time span value and how to avoid this type of string so to avoid such type of string, strings uh, what you can do is uh, you need to check manually like uh, like if it is getting a other than like 8 value or 9 value or if it is getting a text value so so you need to you need to write couple of conditions all right so here how we can write if t uh, like not uh, equal to like this test okay so here you can uh, do like that okay so so it will just avoid that particular particular test value so this is how we can uh, handle that uh, ha handle that string was not recognized as a uh, valid time span in c sharp all right now let me explain why uh, every time we are getting this error so the the main reason or or, or the core concept of this error is when uh, when when we are just using a time span dot pass okay we need to pass a valid time span value okay if you don't pass a valid time span value then it will it will raise that string was not recognized as a valid time span in, in c sharp error so always try to remember that when you will just use the time span dot parse uh, method you need to pass a valid value now here i just show, showed you one example it's related to the time span dot parse but then there may be other scenarios where you can uh, get this error but th the concept is same like you need to use a valid string and, and the valid string it will convert that into the time span valid value otherwise it will straight forward you through you and string was not recognized as a valid time span in c sharp error so this is all about our today's video thank you please like and subscribe to our channel